Look carefully enough in Antananarivo town centre and you'll find corruption on every corner. It's a part of everyday life here, as this taxi driver Jimmy is well aware, having just dodged a fine. I slipped a 2,000 Ariari note in the officer's pocket, or 50 euro cents. He said, who do you take me for? I was in a hurry, so I added another 5,000 Ariari, or a euro 25. He didn't give me a ticket, and I was able to get away. From speeding up an administrative process to passing an exam, corruption is rife. Even the justice system is affected. Jacqueline's son was recently arrested for drug use, but a court employee offered to cut her a deal. He took us to see the judge. Once we were in his office, we talked for a very long time. In the end, we came to an arrangement. This judge is the one who's going to handle my son's case. He said, I promise to look after your son, but first, you have to pay up. Jacqueline ended up handing over 100 euros to ensure her son's freedom. Madagascar is a regular contender in the list of the world's most corrupt countries. The organization Transparency International singles out the three most recent presidents of the country, all of whom are again running as candidates. The three top candidates for the presidency are involved in rosewood trafficking. It started under Ravalo Manana, spread under Rajolina, then carried on for a while under Raja Onarima Pianina, until about 2014. Transparency International is not ruling out the possibility that the three favourites are financing their campaigns with the trafficking of rosewood, an endangered variety of wood highly coveted in China. The candidates will have three months to publish their campaign expenses following the announcement of the election results.